Oi, hello, everybody, Alexandre here, and welcome to a what is the first and maybe last, depending on how much time this is gonna consume, recording of Kingdom. And of course, right off the bat, I'm a queen. Ain't that f <laughs> fabulous? Now, let's see, what the fuck am I? Okay, I'm over here. Uh, now, as you all might have seen, this is a game where you have to build a settlement, turn it into a kingdom. The fuck was that? And of course, defend your kingdom from the um, goblins or whatever the fuck they are. Oi! The other way. So, first of all, you get some money, uh, you have to build a settlement, right? You're gonna get archer, first of all, an archer, and second of all, a builder. That's, that's what you're gonna start. The archers are gonna automatically shoot animals, shoot shit, shoot everything. And that's how you're gonna get coins from the archers. Now, along the way... I'm sure most of you already play the game. Now, along the way, you have settlements. Little camps like this one. Where you can find beggars. Now, each beggar costs coins. Naturally, you're gonna have to wait for, for morning. That's when you're gonna get like a crate of gold. Or if your archers are very good. Which, in this case, not really. And I have only one coin. So, okay, uh, and the little grassy patch fields like that, your horse can eat grass because apparently he gets tired all the time. Lazy bugger. And if, like, this tree here... Come on. And this tree here, like the first one, uh, is what is going to save the camp. Like, if you turn down those if you chop down those trees the, this camp over here is gonna disappear and by the way the statue that you see you get three statues in this game first of all is the I think the one that we saw was for the builders the um, the uh, constructions like the walls and shit are going to be reinforced that's very helpful you have no idea how helpful that is second of all you have an archer statue uh, that's gonna help the archers with the aim and believe me they need fucking aim, accuracy, glasses and everything you might think of. They fucking need it because they're total shit. Now, of course, the first nights nothing's gonna happen as usual. I'm assuming most of you already have seen playthroughs of this I've beaten the game what what's called beaten like I got the game over and congratulations shit right but to be honest it left me so lacking it's it's not even funny the game lacks so much content it's so uh, how can I say it? Like, I feel it's so underdeveloped. It's It doesn't give you such... It doesn't give you a satisfying... Like... I don't know how to explain it sincerely to, to, to the cr developer of the game. Like, it's a good game. It's an awesome game. Nice strategy, nice, nice plot, nice, uh, nice upgrades. Especially upgrades. I love the upgrades. But when you get to a certain point, it's like, okay, what now? You know, like there's there's nothing else to do now. So first night is up. Who the fuck? Oh shit! You see, like, I don't have archers. Uh, nor usually, daylight will scare them off. Fuck. Oh, okay. See, like, the daylight will scare them off. Um, normally, they're 
not really that aggressive. Like, and by that I mean that. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck I mean. They're really fucking aggressive. <laughs> there's no, there's no way around it. They're really aggressive, especially when when uh, the blood moon comes. Then they're really fucking aggressive. And I don't know why the builder isn't repairing that fucking thing. He should already repair it. But it doesn't really matter. He will repair it in time. Now, normally you have to uh, deforestize the deforest. De you have to chop down the fucking trees. Uh, as soon as you chop down the trees, you can expand your your uh, village. No! No! Go back! Go back! I need to kill you to get monies! Shit! And my horse is gonna get tired and they're gonna fuck off. Yeah, of course. Well, that happens. So, normally during the game you get a few camps scattered here and there. So, it's easy to collect people, more or less. I say easy, but it's not really that easy. Fog comes in. It's almost night time. Eat some fucking grass. Um, basically, that's, that's everything you will do in the game. See, like, there's a portal. That's everything you will do in the game. Uh, collect people, collect money... Expand your your empire and basically that's it. I mean, like I said, this the game is good, right? The concept, the idea, it's good. It's it's not terrible, right? You can you get a few a few hours of of enjoyment out of the game, especially. I really, god damn it, I really enjoy upgrade games like. Uh, are you kidding me, builder? Can you please come here and f fucking repair this? God damn it. Okay, I need another archer then. Oh, and it's night time already. Okay, at least I got the, I got the guys here. By the way, when you see stones like this, you can build, um, what you want to call it, towers, right? But, in my, from my experience, those are never good. Those are, like, that's only gonna hinder you. Because at a certain point, like in this game, archers prioritize... Towers going into uh, going into towers then staying behind the wall and protecting it and That's a really big kick in the balls and After they Attacked once they're not gonna attack again and There should be a second one here Or maybe not okay, never mind now let's get the let's get the treasure chest that we get every morning. So yeah, that's <clears throat> that's what I can say about about the game. It's not it's not bad. It's not a bad game. Don't get me wrong, right? It's not a bad game. It's just it has so much potential, right? It has so much potential to 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 be bigger, greater. But at a certain point, like the developers said, well, that's where we're gonna stop. And it's such a shame, to be honest. Like, um, okay, this asshole, I hate his, his guts. He's a traitor. You give him enough, enough coins and he'll, uh, get you free stuff well not free well more or less you can't really call it free this here this is very important you have to upgrade it so so that you can pass beyond um, beyond wood structures and the portal should be here right 
normally you find such treasures lying in the forest, you just have to explore a bit. It's a good thing we have, well, more or less a good thing. It's not really a good thing, but it's good that we found uh, the builders statue first of all but I would, to be honest I would really prefer to have found the the archers first of all because with the archers you get more accuracy you get better aim you get better archers let's just put it like that because you need better archers so yeah my strategy first of all collect as many people as you can like the more the better because at that point, you're not gonna have any problems when the shit hit when shit hits the fan. You know, for example, two archers here, and it's three. If I'm not mistaken, do you guys have monies? This is like paying taxes or some shit like that. So he's he doesn't have a shit now. He doesn't have an, a bow or anything. If I could get one more coin, that would be great. But I'm guessing I'm not getting any coin, any coins. Now something like this pisses me off. When you, okay, hello there, buddy. Now, if you destroy this tree right here and the first one here, the camp disappears, right? But you can go you cannot go further than that because you have to wait till the background disappears. So you have to wait for deforestation to take place. Only then, only then are you able to build uh to continue building or continue tearing down. That's another thing. If it's too dark in the forest there's no way you can build anything. There's no way you can you can chop down trees. Or you, you cannot do shit. And and my, from my personal experience, if you just do not build the towers, I know they're better because you're gonna get flyers later in the game. But if you do not build the towers, then no one's gonna prioritize the the bloody the bloody towers. Archers are gonna stay on the ground behind the walls. Because if not, they're just gonna they're just gonna fuck off uh, to the to the uh, latest tower to the to the last tower, yeah. And normally at a certain point, yeah, see, you get to have uh, what you call them farmers. And normally farms you get to build them only here, where you have like this little creek here. So yeah, like I, like I tried to say before, like I tried to explain, look at this. See, you get a slot for a coin to tear down the tree, right? But now, at this point, see, I got my torch out. You don't get shit for these trees. S neither, neither do you get here. So, you have to tear down the, fo the, the, the camp. Get till there. Then get till here and... See, you're not gonna. You are not able to tear down this shit either, because it's too fucking dark. And at this point, you have the bloody um, portal here. See, so there's no way you can actually do anything. There's no way to 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 save the two camps inside your your village, and just get people like that. Because normally, I I've seen this. On a, on a few playthroughs, people actually save the, the camp so they can easily get more people. That's a good strategy, of course. Uh, but sometimes, because the creek, because the camp is made on the creeks, that's a big fuck off. So as you can see, there there's one, two, and then another one, three here. I could make, I could technically make three camps, right? Right. But why not? Because either something's in the way, or I don't freaking know, or it's too dark. So that's something that the game developers could work on. But I don't know. To, to be honest, I do enjoy the game. 
So you see, for for example, I could make a, a another farm here, right? Right. But to have more space and to be able to destroy the the portals because you have to, you, because you have to destroy the portals, you have to sometimes sacrifice either a farm to to keep the to keep the camp there. Hmm. Or, or you have to sacrifice builders in order to deforestize from a certain point where you can actually deforestize so that you can get to this point and save the camp so either way is sacrifice you have to sacrifice something it's a kick in the balls but hey and uh, the whatchamacallit the the plot here is that if the goblins take away your crown, well, it's game over. There's nothing else you can do. I, I, you could, you could take it back. There is a possibility to take it back, but honestly, that's that's always been game over. Like, there's no way you can actually retrieve it in time because they're. Flipping fast as hell, the little fuckers. So, yeah. Um, at this point, I think I'm going to end the video here because I rambled enough. Morning is going to come. And what I will do is gather more people, get more archers. And maybe, maybe, that's just maybe, try to make, try to make a farm. Because for now, the only thing I'm going to do is get more people. The, the more archers you have, the better, in my experience. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. That always helps the channel out. Give me, in the comment section below, give me advice. How would you play it? How would you, how would you do it? Like, if you played the game, share your experience. It always helps. And if you have another game that you would like me to play leave in the description below oh and don't forget to share the, the the video maybe the creators of the game will see it and maybe they'll do something maybe they'll add more things <laughs> that's <laughs> that's the hoping right so see you in the next one